Perhaps I could start with you, James. Um, just tell us a little bit about your story um, and what happened and, and how it all worked out for you. Uh, so I think I first started um, experiencing, I say, issues when I was maybe 14, 15. I grew up um, in Dorset in, and I went to a school that was quite a sports-based um, college. I was more into music than, than football um, and I think that led to me perhaps not fitting into uh, the circles that maybe some of my other friends did. Um, I, I, I think now looking back, um, there was a real like, determination to be accepted or to uh, yeah, feel, feel wanted uh, within my peer group. Um, and that led to me wanting to look a certain way. One of the biggest um, misconceptions, in my opinion, is people presuming that this is a strive for vanity or to, you know, because I absolutely, absolutely love myself. That wasn't what it was, I think there was a, a degree of maybe self-destruction um, within my mind of how I look, but also that pressure to conform to those, those stereotypes, those gender constructs. And before I realized my whole life was uh, controlled by this, um, this chase to, to look a certain way. And I like to compare uh, the fitness industry to people making money. You can, you're never satisfied. You think you get to a certain point and you'll complete it, but there's always another thing you can do or another supplement you can take. And, you know, at the age of probably 19, 20, the next step for me was to get liposuction because I had, I think I had 6% body fat at the time, but I, st I, I couldn't get rid of, like, the breast tissue that I had, um, which was extremely natural. And, you know, me, me going to my parents at age 19, 20 saying, I'm going to do this must have been heartbreaking for them because, you know, They've been very, very, all, all along, been so supportive of me trying to uh, feel happy within myself. And it, and it didn't, it, obviously for me, I, I, I couldn't tick that box. So I ended up having surgery uh, at the age of, I think, 19, 20. I think that when I went into that show, I thought that I had uh, <coughs> sorted my issues, solved, solved mental health, uh, <laughs> which later I've obviously realised that just isn't how it works. I went into that show feeling extremely confident. Um, I came out of that show five or six kilograms lighter. And uh, you know, when my wife saw me, she she was like shocked, she was, like almost scared of how ill I looked. Um, however, I thought immediately then I was like, actually, look, I, I kind of look good again. Like I've got a six pack in a way that I hadn't had for ten years since the beginning of my issues with food and mental health. And I think without realizing I still had unanswered demons in my head about my body. That show was brilliant for an array of reasons, but it made me focus on myself more than ever physically. And coming out of being on a TV show, there's obviously um, brand deals and people are, you're, you're an attractive influencer to work with.